the words that are coming to my mind is some or are something isn't as it should be or isn't going to be as it should be but i i don't necessarily want to say that because ultimately everything is as it is supposed to be and i feel like with this energy of like feeling like something isn't as it should be the, the way it should be is the way you expected it to be or the way you wanted it to be but that's that's not what it is. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your day or for whenever the moment resonates with you, yes? Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment. If it turns out that you were guided to watch this reading and yet it doesn't quite resonate just yet, don't worry. Chances are it's most likely going to resonate for you in the near future. Yeah. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you had a good weekend. Um, it was a pretty chill and relaxed weekend for me. I've been in a very interesting energy. Um... What am I talking about? We've been in, in, in interesting energies for a while now. But what I've been, um, for lack of a better term or lack of a, better, of a better word, what I've been dealing with, or I guess we should say facing, is um, really working on going with the flow. And um, that's kind of what I talked about over the weekend, you know, with the content that I, I put out on Patreon. It was all about going with the flow, um, not forcing anything, not trying too hard. And how that's been translating for me is, you know, we're coming up to the end of April and May's coming and monthly readings. Technically, I should be working on those right now, but I haven't, I haven't really been doing that. I've done like maybe three of them so far, and, but it just feels like a chore. Um, and part of what I was talking about yesterday specifically was... When I got up yesterday morning, you know, I was in this mindset of saying to myself, okay, Eric, you know, you got to sit down, you got to do all this work, this, that, and the third. I was basically going to like force myself to sit down and do readings when technically or quite frankly, the timing didn't feel right. It just doesn't feel right. And so I've been in this, in this weird energy of trying to figure out the balance, um, a lot of, a lot of, um, the energy that I feel it right now is moving me towards probably not doing monthly readings, at least for May. It just doesn't feel right right now. It, it like it feels like too much of a chore. It's not. So, I mean, I don't get me wrong. I enjoy doing it, but it's just I don't know. It, it what I literally I just heard myself say, the space isn't ready for it yet. So. Two things. First of all, the space isn't ready for it yet. To me, that feels like that translates into we're going through a pretty massive change. And right now, it's not necessary to do all of the extra readings in terms of like, say, uh, monthlies or whatnot. Like, I'm obviously still going to keep up with morning coffee. And quite frankly, I feel like that's more appropriate right now than it is to do extra stuff. But like, but then even as I'm saying that, within i'm having trouble accepting that myself because number one i'm so used to you know doing providing monthly readings every month i've been doing so for a good like two and a half years now but number two it just feels like i'm required to do so it feels like the space that i'm in the 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 position that i'm in as a reader here um, it's very much a keeping up with the Joneses type of energy, and that's exactly what I was talking about yesterday over on Patreon. But um, so even I'm having trouble accepting that, you know, really dealing with the fact that we're probably better off not doing the full spectrum of monthly readings. Um, I may end up um, doing it just by element instead of doing it by each individual sign. Of course, if you are on Patreon um, and you're either on the, uh, the the love package or like the full Monty. I'm still planning on doing, you know, monthly love readings for each of the signs. That's different. But when it comes to the whole situation in terms of like the general energies for each sign for, for YouTube, 
it doesn't feel, this, again, I just heard myself say it, the space doesn't feel ready or right just yet. But we still have the dailies in terms of morning coffee here, so that feels more appropriate right now. It feels much better. I don't know, but it's just like it, it, doing this, creating all this content right now just feels like a chore. It doesn't feel like it, uh, a flow. I don't feel ex really all that excited about it. Not to say that I'm like, eh, fuck this, I don't want to do this. It just doesn't feel ready, you know what I mean? So that's where, I'm, that's where I am, that's what I'm going through. I would love your input if you have an opinion or about it, if you, you know, whatever. Let, please share it in the comment, I'd love to know what you think. Um, but anyway, we're going to get into today's reading. And we're going to keep up with the Vice Versa deck. I really do like that one. Uh, it seems to fit really well for morning coffee, so... Thank you for the suggestion in bringing it in bringing it back. To be quite honest, I kind of forgot I had it. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna continue with the vice versa deck, and then for clarity, instead of going with the Los Garabello deck, which is what we've been using um, for clarification, we're now at this time, at least today, maybe this whole week, we'll see. But I'm going to go with the after tarot for our clarification. Yes. And then, of course, as usual, we will cross the Oracle Bridge when we get there. All right, awesome. Let's get into this, guys, and see what we've got for today. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, circumstances, places, and relationships and romances in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. <laughs> Alrighty, kids, let's get into this here. I'm gonna give this five shuffles, and we shall begin. One. Two. Three. Four. Mm, try that again. Four. And five. All right. Let's get into this. What's going on today? What do we want to talk about for the collective today, please, Spirit? What is on the agenda? for today. Okay. Okay. Overall energy, we have the Ace of Swords. On the other side of the deck, we do have the Four of Cups. Um, what I'm feeling so far, what I kind of want to say is, especially with this Four of Cups energy here, um, I want to say that this ship has sailed. I don't know exactly what that means for you here, but with this Ace of Swords on the other side of the deck, especially with what's, what else has come out here, um... <laughs> It feels like there's something that's no longer fulfilling. It feels like there's also there's also a bit of a realization uh, that something I don't the words that are coming to my mind is 
some or, or are something isn't as it should be or isn't going to be as it should be but i i don't necessarily want to say that because ultimately everything is as it is supposed to be and i feel like with this energy of like feeling like something isn't as it should be th the way it should be is the way you expected it to be or the way you wanted it to be but that's that's not what it is or at least that's not what it's going to be okay you have the seven of cups upright with the nine of cups in reverse and the three of cups in reverse as well and this side of the seven of cups is a positive side of it because it represents help coming guidance coming um a kind of almost a light at the end of the tunnel type of energy where on this side of the card you know this person you see that this person is actually blind and he's kind of made his way out into the swamp into the marsh and can't find his way has no idea what's going on can't see what's in front of him or is just um wrapped up in the confusion that the seven of cups can represent on this side however an angel is coming to his aid the sun is shining it's brighter it's it, it, there's illumination here it also kind of feels like there could be some sort of clarity in the confusion or there's some you found a sense of clarity in one in what was once a really confusing situation and I, I just feel like here what's really what we're talking about is a realization of what something truly is rather than what you may have expected it to be was the, the strongest thing I heard. You, you could also say rather than what it, what you wanted it to be. This really does feel like this is a realization that something is not going to be what you expected it. And it feels like this is that moment where it actually the realization actually kind of sinks in like it, it there's no it's not up in the air any longer there's no real confusion about it there's no what if it feels like it's it you see it exactly for what it is and it's not a satisfying situation or it's not it's not adequately satisfying like it it feels like you know Whatever this is for you, it doesn't necessarily have to be the end all be all the best thing, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, the best thing since sliced bread, you know what I mean? But there are certain, certain elements or certain levels to something or this situation that are not ideal for you. And it's almost as if it, maybe for some of you, it feels like this literally just falls short of this having the adequate satisfaction level or satisfaction factor i guess for others of you it it, it it falls way short of it but but the, the the for the most part the strongest thing that i'm feeling here is that for some reason this just barely makes the cut and so that makes it not acceptable for you any longer and it took some time to get there it took some time for you to understand that there was a lot of things that needed to be weeded through that needed to be understood that needed to be experienced blah 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 there was always it feels like there was always a reason to keep going in this situation well maybe it'll get better well maybe it'll improve or maybe i'll feel better or maybe i'm just in a rut or this that and the third but now it feels like the clarity has come through and you're realizing, recognizing that, no, this really isn't going to be what I had hoped. Nine of Cups, Three of Cups, both are in reverse. The Nine of Cups is the satisfaction factor. The Three of Cups is giving me a social, um, some sort of social energy. There may be a collective of people or a group of people that are kind of in this with you or kind of in the same environment or what or surroundings or circumstance or whatnot that you know they find it to be great or 
you know, they, maybe they're still in the illusion of it and you're not. These may also be some people that actually kind of helped to, to convince you to get involved in this situation somehow. Okay, what do we want to do here? Clarify. Okay, we're going to clarify. Seven shuffles. Okay, one. Two. Three. You know, I don't even really want to clarify. What I want to do is I want to say, okay, what do you do next? This is four. Five. Yeah, so what do we do next? Six. And seven. Okay. Uh, all right, so what next? What do we do here? Moving forward. Advice on moving forward. How do we move forward here? What do we do? That wasn't right. What do we do? Oof. Well, this is pretty clear. So the first card that came out was the King of Pentacles. And okay, I guess that's applicable because what I'm hearing now in terms of that is stand on your own. It feels like whatever you've gone through or whatever you've been through in this situation, in this circumstance has provided you with a sense of greater self-sufficiency, a greater sense of stability, or maybe even a greater sense of who you are as an individual. Which in the past could have left you susceptible to the, the whims or the suggestions of other people. But not anymore. You've grown out of that. This... This, this position that you find yourself in has helped you to grow into a greater sense of self-sufficiency, self-awareness, and stability. Okay, that's great. But what do you do next? Well, you have the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Devil. Okay, so that right there is saying cut your losses and let go. Cut yourself free from this. You don't have to be bound to this for any given reason, as even especially if if that reason is like pub others' opinions, no. Followed by the Nine of Wands, the King of Cups, and then the World. Okay, so it feels like you're persevering here. It feels like you're sticking it out. It feels like you're just you're just keeping going with it, hopefully, hope, hoping at some point it's gonna get better or thinking it's going to get better, or maybe if you just put a little bit more effort in. I don't, quite frankly, I don't, from what I'm feeling here, I don't even really know why you're still trying to push for this, is kind of what I'm getting here with the Nine of Wands. But then follow, following that, you have the King of Cups to the world. And the King of Cups is giving me an energy here of saying, you know what's best for you to do. You know what the right thing is for you to do. And reluctantly, this it looks like this King of Cups is 
pouring out that cup like, ugh, either I just don't want this or, man, I know this kind of sucks, but this is not right for me. And thus bringing an end to the situation. Uh, there's some sort of toxicity here. Oh, I'm sorry. Also, at the bottom of the deck is the Six of Pentacles, okay? So the reason why you would be letting go or walking away or moving from moving away from this situation is because it's not reciprocal. The balance between give and take is not there. This feels like a very... Well, there is toxicity in this situation, the, the devil... Or it could just be the fact that you are bound to this somehow, or you're requiring yourself to be bound to this. This It feels like loyalty. It feels like, well, you know, I made this decision or I made this commitment and, you know, it's not really what I thought it would be or it's not turning out to where, where I want it, what, where I thought it was going to go or where I wanted it to go. But you know what? I guess I should just stick with it because I made it. But that's not necessary here. That's not required here. The requirement for you to, to continue with your with whatever commitment or whatever situation you've gotten into or whatnot, the requirement for you to stay in it would, re, would, rec, would require there to be re reciprocity, but it's not reciprocal. And I don't feel like that's any fault of your own. I, again, I still feel like you're still pushing here. You're still pushing, trying to persevering, trying to get it done, trying to make this right, but it doesn't, it doesn't fall, it, it falls out of your hands. It's not anything that you can make right all on your own. And I think that's why you know what you know here, Ace of Swords. I think that's the clarity that's coming through here for you. You're not bound by this situation. I want to get one more pull just for curiosity's sake. Closing message here, please, Spirit, in terms of the situation. One card. The Two of Cups. Okay. At the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. But... Uh, the one card here that's come out is the Two of Cups. And what I heard when, when the Two of Cups came out was love yourself better. Love yourself more. There was, a mother, there was another message that came through with that, and I'm trying it. I'm trying to decipher it. Love yourself better. Okay, um, this may not be for everybody, but I just heard it's okay to take advantage of the situation if it calls for it. There may be, there may be an escape route for someone that you could take advantage of to move forward in life is what I want to say. That's weird. And the message here that I'm getting is to take that a bit, take that opportunity. Why shouldn't you? You have every right to do so. It's not out of the orm. It's not out of the the, the contrary. It... You have every right to do so. Okay. Yeah, love yourself better. Love yourself more. Love yourself enough to take advantage of the situation at hand. There we go. There's an opportunity. Either, either there's an opportunity coming or there's, I just heard it's already here. <clears throat> but it's this energy, the devil and the eight of swords, that is causing you to question yourself or keeping you from actually taking advantage of this new opportunity that's in front of you. Okay. Knight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. And to me, the Knight of Pentacles is speaking to the fact that you've been diligently working towards this. You've been working hard 
I feel like I want to say you deserve whatever opportunity has come up, whatever is next for you. Okay. But it does require an element of a level of emotional maturity in terms of, you know, doing the right thing. What's best for yourself? What's necessary for yourself? Okay. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance. Let's go with the Crystal Mandala deck. Okay. Five shuffles. One. Two. And four. All right. Oh, oh, wait, wait. No, we're doing five. Right. And five. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance. You've got card number 39, Passion of the, uh, I'm sorry, Goddess Sekhmet and Fire Agate, Passion of the Lion Heart. 39. We bring you the empowerment of Passion of the Lion Heart. Through passion, you will dedicate yourself with an intensity and discipline that may surprise you. Passion is love activated. It is energy that moves you from within and empowers you to act in the world in ways you would not otherwise dare to even consider. Passion gives you strength, plugs you into the eternal energy of sacred fire, and generates the ability to accomplish tasks you once may not have believed possible. With great passion, there can be great pain. The heart that loves wild and open is also the heart that can feel disappointment and doubt most keenly. The empowerment of the lion heart strengthens your heart to recover from any pain through the power of courage, commitment, and bold, loving devotion to what matters most to you. So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>